Hello fellow coffee botherers, I'm Kev from coffeeblog.co.uk and in this video I'm going to be talking about soy milk. This is a second video in my short series about milk alternatives for coffee and in this one I'm talking about soy milk. In the last one I was talking about oat milk and you'll notice I add a lot more oat milks than I've got soy milks in this video and that's because when I asked around there were only a couple of names that came up as being among the best soy milks which was Bon Soy and Happy Happy Soy Boy. If I'm missing any important or popular soy milks here by the way if there's another brand if there's a few other brands of soy milk that I should be talking about please let me know in the comments below and I'll do another video but in this video we're going to try these I'm going to steam them manually and steam them with the auto steam on the Sage Bambino Plus and we'll see what happens. Again, as I did with the oat milk, I'm just gonna look at the fat, the carbs and the protein. And I'm interested in the fat and the protein, specifically because in theory, that should impact on how well it stretches and how well it pours. So bonsoi has got 4.1 grams of protein and 2.4 grams of fat. Happy Happy Soy Boy has got 3.9 grams of protein and 2.5 grams of fat. So similar in fat and similar in protein. There's not a great deal of difference in it. In terms of carbs, and I'm talking carbs just because I am carb sensitive if I eat a sandwich or put on a stone. So I tend to watch the carbs and especially the sugars that I'm consuming. So it's interesting to look at the carbs for me personally and for anybody else that is counting the carbs. There's 3.8 grams per 100 mil in bonsoi, that's of carbs, and 2.6 grams per 100 mil in Happy Happy Soy Boy. Of that 3.8 grams in Bonsoy, 2.1 grams is sugar. And in Happy Happy Soy Boy, of the 2.6 grams of carbs, 1.5 grams is sugar. So Happy Happy Soy Boy's got less carbs and less sugar. Let's start with Bonsoy. Let's give that a go on auto. You have to remember to push it back over the milk sensor so that it can pick up the temperature of the milk on the first review video that I did of the Sage Bambino Plus, I didn't have the milk jug pushed over the milk sensor. I had it out here like that. So it just kept going up in temperature and I thought there was a problem with the machine, but the problem was with me because I'm an idiot and I didn't have it pushed over the temperature sensor. So just make sure you push it back over that temperature sensor. Medium temp, medium foam. Hmm, what a froth on there. 65 temperature, so quite happy with that. Some fairly big bubbles in there, give it a bit of a knot. Still some fairly big bubbles, we'll see what happens when I do it manually. Yeah, it's going a bit glossy now. A good texture that actually but I've messed up the pour of it it's quite dry that texture more cappuccino than flat white try it wow you know what I've not had soy milk for a long time and the last time I tasted soy milk I thought it was horrible but it was probably just a cheap own brand of some low-cost supermarket <laughs> rather than been speciality barista grade soy milk. That's really good, really like that. I'm quite shocked by how well that goes with the espresso. Nice mouthfeel, really velvety microfoam, really good. It'd be interesting to see what happens with this manually, but I'm impressed with that. I'm just gonna try that one more time 
and I'm gonna keep the temperature on medium, but I'm gonna change the foam, the texture to its lowest setting. Let's see what happens there, just out of interest. Not as much foam on there this time. I think we might be a bit better. In terms of the hissing, as I mentioned with the bubbles popping with oat milk, this is hissing around about what I'd expect with cow's milk. Very, very slight amount when I'm swirling. I'm not done a great job there. I'm not overly happy with my pour in there, but <laughs> texture wise, a little bit better on the lowest setting. I'll do it with the uh, manual steam as well and we'll see how that goes. Let me try it. The microphone is slightly better on the lowest setting. It's a bit more flat white than cappuccino. Well, I could drink that instead of milk any day. I'm really surprised. Really quite similar to full fat cow's milk. There's nothing really screams out you're drinking soy milk. Mm. So I'm gonna do the same thing now with happy, happy soy boy. I'm gonna do, to be fair, I'm gonna do one on the medium steam setting and one on the lowest. Okay, so I'm gonna have a go now with the happy, happy soy boy, soy milk, on medium temperature and medium foam to start with. That looks pretty good. Knock some balls out. Sounding mildly threatening towards bubbles. That ain't bad. That's gone a little bit better on the medium foam setting and medium temperature than the bonsoi did. The bonsoi on medium foam went a bit dry, a bit more cappuccino, with bigger bubbles. Whereas this is a bit more like what I'd expect. That's really interesting taste wise as well. Can't actually decide so far which one I prefer. I really like that one as well and texture wise that's really good. Hmm, jury's out so far on which one. I prefer maybe bonsoi just slightly. I don't know, I'm stuck so far. Let's do another one, this time on the lowest texture setting. Strangely, this seems to have slightly more bigger bubbles in it than it did on the lower foam setting, which is interesting. But anyway, give it a go. Not bad. Not perfect, Let me try it. The mouth feels good and the taste is pretty good. Coming from someone who didn't think they liked soy milk. I think bonsoi is slightly more like cow's milk in taste. It's just got a bit of a lighter, slightly creamier, slightly milky taste. Happy Happy Soy Boy has got a little bit more of an edge to it, if that makes any sense. There's a slightly more pronounced soyness about the happy, happy soy boy than there is to the bonsoi. I think if you made me a flat white made with bonsoi and didn't tell me, I wouldn't automatically know it was soy milk. With the happy, happy soy boy, I think I might just have a slightly stronger inkling than it's soy. Now let's do some manual steaming of both. So I'm gonna start off manually steaming the bonsoi. Let's see how that goes.
Now that looks very similar to cow's milk. Look how glossy that is. So it looks good. Let's see if I can manage to not mess it up. I'm not on the best foam pouring today, but I'm using really small flat white glasses. I'm a little bit limited and I'm a little bit rubbish. <laughs> that, to me, looks very similar to latte art poured with cow's milk, if I'd slightly messed it up as I have done with that, but that I'm pretty impressed with. If you look at the contrast, let's try it. Yeah, it tastes great that. I'm really, really surprised. I was expecting to hate a taste of soy milk because I seem to remember having tried it a while back and really disliking it, but that is nice. Got a really creamy, really velvety mouthfeel to it. Impressed with that. And as I said before, with some experience, once you've had quite a bit of practice and I've had four or five years practice at texturing milk, you can get, in my humble opinion, slightly better results manually than you can auto and this machine is great the sage bambino plus is great it's amazing what it can do for such a low cost machine that it can auto steam milk but a home barista with a bit of experience in stretching milk i think can just take it a little bit further towards perfection this is what i'm finding i'm getting better texture for latte art better velvety mouthfeel with manually steamed milk or in this case soy milk than with auto but as I said that's with some experience straight out of the box if you've not got experience texturing milk and believe me it does take a bit of a learning curve you'll probably find that you can't get results as good as the auto feature of the Bambino Plus to begin with but that'll change as you gain experience now to try the happy happy soy boy manually steamed Again, that looks like stretched cow's milk to me, like full fat cow's milk in how it's gone glossy like that. Again, not too bad. But look at the texture more than my questionable latte art skills because the texture there is pretty good. Look at the contrast. That ain't bad at all. Try it. Really nice velvety microfoam. Great texture. I do think the Happy Happy Soy Boy has just got a slightly stronger soy taste just very very slightly which is great if you like the taste of soy milk i think the bond soy is milder in that regard so it's less of a soy taste in soy milk than happy happy soy boy but i'd happily drink both and i'm really shocked that i'm saying that because i didn't think i liked soy milk and i could never imagine myself swapping cow's milk full fat cow's milk for soy milk and now i could taste wise whether it could cost wise because these soy milks are not cheap and just now because i've been messing up the latte out a bit because i've been using smaller cups or glasses than i'd usually use just so happen to have a couple of bigger cappuccino cups that a nice chap from a firm called mr whiteware mrwhiteware.co.uk does anyone in the trade watching 
Mr. White wears a huge trade supplier, uh, huge in terms of the catalogue. They've got a massive range, I had a look at the brochure and they gave me a few um, cups and I, I just remembered that I've got some here in the studio so I thought I'll do a pour with Bonsoy and with Happy Happy Soy Boy in these slightly bigger cappuccino cups from mrwhiteware.co.uk We'll go with Bonsoy first. Kind of proving that it's not really the cup that I'm struggling with, it's just that I'm not really used to pouring this milk. It's the first time I've poured Soy milk, I think. That's probably a little bit better with a bigger cup. It's not as good as I would usually pour with cow's milk. Anyway, see if I can do a slightly better job this time. Not really. <laughs> Again, I think that's just my lack of experience at steaming and pouring milk alternatives. But as you can see, the soy milk itself is more than capable, both Bon Soy and Happy Happy Soy Boy are both capable of decent texture with the Sage Bambino Plus and other steam ones of other espresso machines, I would imagine. So it's possible. Decent texture, but don't judge the soy milk by my poor attempt at latte art, because as I say, I'm not experienced with pouring latte art with milk alternatives, and it is slightly different as I'm finding out. As my school report she used to say, could try harder, or could try turning up. So there we go, we've tried the Happy Happy Soy Boy and the Bon Soy soy milk we've done it with the auto steam and manually steamed via the sage bambino plus and as i've said really impressed really impressed with the taste was not expecting to even like the taste of soy milk in espresso and espresso based milkies or alternative milkies i wasn't expecting to enjoy it especially this one i like this one the most bonsoi because it tastes to me the most similar to full fat cow's milk the happy happy soy boy is a bit more soy it's got a bit more of a soy taste to it and i'm not a massive fan of that taste which is why i didn't think i like the taste of soy milk but it's not overpowering and it's not unpleasant i just slightly prefer the bonsoi taste wise and as you saw, I struggled a little bit pouring the latte art, and I thought it might be because I was using smaller glasses. But when I've used these two bigger fine bone china cappuccino cups, as I said, that were given to me by mrwhiteware.co.uk, I still struggled, which shows that it's just that I'm not used to pouring soy milk, and it's different, it is slightly different, and I'm probably not quite steaming it right either, although I'm happy with the texture. I'm sure. An experienced barista will watch this video and leave a comment below to let me know what I'm doing wrong, to let me know how I can get slightly better latte art from soy milk. Because as I've said, I'm not experienced with pouring latte art with soy milk or any milk alternatives. But I'm impressed with that. I'm impressed with these. Latte art wise, I've got better results than I did with the oat milk. Taste wise, I prefer, and I didn't expect to be saying this, but I prefer both of these soy milks to any of the oat milks, especially this one, which is a bit more like cow's milk to me, a bit more like full fat cow's milk. So if you like full fat cow's milk, like I do, I like the taste of it, then maybe this one. But if you're thinking of switching to soy milk, just try them both. And if you've tried any other soy milks or if you use 
other soy milks that you think I should be talking about, let me know and I'll do another video. So that's it for now. And as I've said, this is a second video in the series. The first one was about oat milk. This is about soy milk. And I'm gonna do another video next about another alternative milk, but I'm not gonna tell you what. I'm gonna leave you in uh, suspense. So thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. Cheers. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, Click this and subscribe to my channel. And if you allow notifications, you'll get a notification, funnily enough, when I upload the next video. So you won't miss it and you might not want to miss it. You might want to miss it. That's all for now. Tatty bye.